How are you doing? Hi, Mose. Hi, like, you know, You haven't even seen me yet. <laughs> well, now you have. Okay. I am very tired, but I figured if I don't stream now, I will never again, so... <laughs> Doing this, oh yeah, I forgot how to play this game. Ah. It's a little loud. Okay. Like, that's good for me. Uh. Oh yeah, we're about to blow out a candle. Here we are. I think everything is working. My hair is very bushy today. It's just bushy. You don't need to see me. You can you can sense it, huh? Okay, which candle? So we have yeah three more candles to blow out. I want to. No, I want to blow out this one. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there's no smoke. Angel! Oh shit, Angel, take care. Don't have an accident. Hmm. Okay, I'm back in the house. We were just attacked. Uh, we do have a flatmate, theoretically. Oh yeah, that's me, by the way. Locked. But there must be some way to open this padlock. Oh, okay. So what, I can do three numbers? Okay, I can do three numbers. Can I pick this up? No. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember. Outside was nothing. Hmm. I think we're actually stuck. A boring stream? What do you mean, boring stream? Oh yeah, I can't go anywhere else. This room. Why did it have to be this room? It's locked. But I was in here before. Okay, so I got a knife. And I got that weapon that I built and killed someone with. Uh, and I found it here, magically. And here she's like, the reflection is like she's in the, again in that mental hospital. And there's a monster. And nothing else. Okay, I tried stabbing the monster, but it didn't... Is this the thing? I think the worst thing about this it is that it looks a bit like me. Yeah. Oh, it has to be from the reflection. Oh, 
I mean, that should have worked, no? I can't move. I don't really want to go back in that room. Hmm. I can kill myself. Have you seen any numbers? I KO. Yeah. I need like she gonna follow me? Okay, she's following me outside. Oh she's following me, I remember. Yeah, it's a Panzerknacker shirt. I remember I need two people to operate the thing. Here it says I can't understand most of it. It's all technical stuff. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger handling capacity too. How bizarre. Okay, I got the real me and the unreal me. There's no power. It must be activated somehow else. Maybe that building at the bottom of the pier. Oh, okay. So that, that must have been the solution. Like, two people going there, because my shadow, I guess, is not following me anymore. I still- I don't have a- There must be clues. Do you see numbers somewhere? Like, do you see some numbers somewhere here? Because... Here is a three. This is a three. Right? Three. This could be a seven. Three, seven, eight. Right? Three, seven, eight? No. Three, eight, one. It's three, eight, yeah, I think three, eight, one. Three, eight, one. Okay, three, let's try. Eagle boys. I didn't know either, or I forgot. Okay, so three, eight, one. Three at four. Oh. Three, eight. Three at four. Thank you, Gino. There's a small hole on the side of a panel. I guess I need to, some kind of lever to operate it. There you go. It looks a bit different than the others. I think I just killed myself. Anglo! That's me behind the glass, I think. I've seen this machine before when I first visited this wicked world of the dead. Back then, it was my blood that turned it on. Oh. What does this do? There's a small hole on the side of the panel. Need some kind of lever. If I do this again... Wait. 
Nothing. Okay. Let's remove. Oh, I, th I think I know. Like, this should be the solution, no? Because the thing's gonna come down and she's gonna go the wrong way. Okay. Look, I know what to do. Maybe. I'm gonna remove this. We're going to take that. We are going to... Oh, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I did it, I did it wrong, wait, but uh, it's fine. We're gonna do this. And we can probably do this. Okay. And take this out. Yeah, and we take this. Okay, and we're gonna make ourselves die again. And it's gonna be fun, guys, so prepare. I'm sticking it very deep in there. And now we're going to operate. And we're gonna die. Oh. We will not die yet. I forgot something. Don't worry. No, no, no. I forgot something. There's another panel. Nailed it, yeah. The attempt to kill ourselves was unsuccessful. Wait, first this. Uh, operate. Okay, now we're gonna die. Okay, prepare for death. And she should be following us now. Lights off. Oh, I cannot take them back, so... Oh, was the blood needed to turn on the machine? Because it said machinery. What have I won? What oh, you're right, it was a four, not a one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is a green light now. I think it has power. And music. Goodbye, other world. Shit, they're all dead. Are we going down or? Uh oh. I have like, I have nothing in my inventory or. Uh oh. Uh -oh.
Is that you behind my back, Mitzi? Miss Ashworth, I thought... I thought you were dead. I saw that man hit you right in the head. Me? Dead? No. No, I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? Yeah, okay. I can do that. What's this? Duct tape? Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard? It won't hurt to try. Yeah, I don't think so. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons. Stuck in a web. Waiting to be eaten. But where's the spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Pull yourself together and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. How about those lockpicks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? We're wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick gonna help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lockpicks and think of something else, all right? Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'm all right. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. Do you think he's going to rape us? No, he is not. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later they always make a mistake. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. So, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. And you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. With what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. That's a good idea, Angle. The big spoon can bite the tape off. I, I like that idea. Oh, we'll find out why she doesn't like flowers. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. He was a taxi driver, worked every weekend, and I was still on maternity leave. Zoe, our little daughter, was only six months old at the time. Well, five months and twenty-eight days exactly. She would be eleven now. Anyway, 
that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away, but I really liked them, somehow. They were extraordinary, absolutely stunning, and looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. Sent a sweet and sinister. They're the prettiest flowers I ever got. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. It reads, I know the day you will say yes. If I'm going to keep them, I should definitely throw this note away just in case Eric finds it. Anything. I... I couldn't resist. You're all I can think of lately. It kills me that I can't see you. I would give anything. I'd better stop here. You know very well how I feel about you. We went to dinner? What? She went to dinner? Hi, Gizmo. You're wasting your time and money. You're right. Maybe I am. But you answered the phone, didn't you? You always do. Every Friday. You could have just let it ring. But you picked up because you wanted to talk to me. I know that. I'm not giving up so easily, Susan. You're a stalker. I should call the police. I'm just... I'm very... It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? No. I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them, but I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Uh, game. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little weird, yeah. But it's uh, really cool. It's just not very conventional. It's more more non-conventional, <laughs> you know? It's a wedding gift from Eric's father. I haven't really got much time to practice. But when I do the strange, the strangest thing happens. Groups of cats come up to the balcony and stare at me. Are they trying to tell me something? Eric bought this table just a few weeks ago in a second-hand furniture shop. We haven't really got a lot of money at the moment. I'll get better when I return... No, it'll get better when I return to work in a couple of months, I guess.
my daughter's room. It's only been two weeks since we moved her part into here. We should probably get one of those baby monitors, but money's been tight recently. I can hear if she starts crying anyway. She's fast asleep now, my baby girl. She looks so cute. But she's sleeping? If she's sleeping, I shouldn't uh, wake her. I mean, I shouldn't talk to her, right? It's one of those cheap self-assembly units from the supermarket. I don't want to wake her up. We'll have all day tomorrow just to each other. See, I told you, don't wake it up. Little baby. It's okay, you know, just take your time. Take it easy. Don't need to apologize. Oh no, I can't play now. I will wake Zoe up. What am I gonna do with the flowers? Put her, put them in Zoe's room? Maybe they killed the kid. that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. I doubt he'll notice anyway. Did you take the note? I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Eric must have come home early, but why? I'm scared. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What? What happened? Was there an accident? Yes, you could call it that. But if a guy walks into a busy restaurant during dinner service and detonates a bomb strapped to his chest, then I think the term terrorist attack is more fitting. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Jesus, are you all right? I'm fine. Did you get hurt? No, not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. 
You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. All right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No. I just need a drink. I can wash later. Yeah, it's like good imagination. I mean, uh, I don't know. Are you gonna get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Hello? It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. I love you, Susan. Susan? You still there? Please, say something. Anything. Thanks, but we're already insured with someone else. I... excuse me? Susan, it's me. The only thing I'm trying to sell to you is my heart. We won't be needing pet insurance either. What are you talking about? Would you like my husband to talk to you? He's just come home from work. He usually deals with insurance companies. Will you just put the phone down? Once you start talking to them, these insurance bloodsuckers will never leave you alone. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Just hang up, Susan. All right. Take care, then. Then the arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess! Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies and singing and playing and washing. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. If you'd spent more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. She better get used to it, because this is just the start. There's gonna be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! I will make the rules, and I'll get the respect I deserve. Thank you. He's hey, the one that saved it's us. Me. I like him. What the fuck Thank is you this? So much. Well, it's a very, very interesting game. It's called the Cat Lady, and it's very, it's very messed up. There's a lot of like disturbing things and death and stuff and killing people and dying and just all that. It's really cool. I mean, the game's cool, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. 13 months? Wow, really?
Yeah, he like he is the husband. Yeah, he's uh this is this is just a flashback. We're just we're trying to find out why she doesn't like flowers. And we're gonna find it out at the end of the story. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, alright? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt. Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife. I'm the mother of your child. Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When was the last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. Oh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me! Does it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it, I heard. Well, fuck this. I heard different. You know what, a woman, like once a woman gave birth, it takes at least three months, but usually more, till a woman can even have sex again without it being dangerous, you know, because everything was open, <laughs> you know. So this is all, like the, the baby is six months old at this point. So yeah, hi Inspector. So yeah, he's, he's a dick. He's just big husband. Poor Susan. I'm done talking to you. Pizza. Of course you are. Mm. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said! Right. Here we go. It's not you. It's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too! I'm not drunk! I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! Full of shit! Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. A 
and she's like, oh, fine, never mind. And now she's gonna yell at him. I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> of course not. Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah, then why are we here now, fighting? This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old. What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan. You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge! Stop it! Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. Oh, this game is terrible. The next time we saw her... Stop laughing. When we found her, she... she was... After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked... bad. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. What do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let's go right now, you moron. Mitzi! Leave her alone. Don't you dare. No! Take me, instead. Take me. What? What's going on? You're letting me go? Just like that? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Own them all, yes. What? Oh, I, I can't go back. Want to get a weapon or so? Sick son of a bitch. 
What do you want me to do? I don't understand. She hasn't got much time, I have to save her. I need to find something for her to stand on first, and that damn table is too heavy. Time for that, she needs some support, something to stand on and quickly. Push! Push to reset that one. Stand still, Mixie. I'm gonna be right back with a knife, and I'll cut you down, alright? Oh, my cat friends helped me. Oh, she got the knife herself. Good. Next chapter, guys. I think it has seven chapters. Because she is the cat lady, the, she can summon the cats just like that. I guess that's why. Storms, how are you doing? Hola. We are starting chapter six right now. We're really going to do it, aren't we? Yes, Mitzi. You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. Did you take that map with you? Yes. We can always refer to it if you get lost. I've lived in this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, it might give us a clearer picture of how far we've got. Right. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, it must have been pretty tough for you. Never felt better, Mrs. A. 
voice acting is good, yeah. Uh, okay. Use Mitzi ability to pick blocks and ask for advice if he gets stuck. Okay, we're trying to find a dude. Uh, Joe Davies lives here with his wife. I haven't seen him for a while, though. Maybe they've gone for a holiday. Oh, yeah, so let's uh, check the map. So... Oh, right, let's... The lack of visuals? I don't know. This game can be pretty visual. <laughs> okay, um... So yeah, we are flat four, Susan and Mitzi. Uh, flat three would be that married couple. Yeah, we just have to cross up. We're looking for a specific guy that Mitzi talked to online. And he is like a suicide specialist and he makes other people commit suicide by telling them how to do it to be successful and stuff. And Mitzi's boyfriend died because of that he killed himself and now she is trying to get revenge and she has a brain tumor or something that starts with g so she's dying in a few months like one or two or so three months something i think i heard something oh shit wait wait sorry i think i heard something no, it's probably just my imagination. Let's knock. I guess they're not in. That's great. I never liked them much. Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? They must have something to hide. Is there any other way we can get inside, then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic drill. Or a key? Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. It's locked. Yeah, this game is a little heavy. Like, it has very disturbing topics. It hits a lot harder when you play it while being depressed. I mean, I can imagine, yeah. cat. Two cats. The cats seem attracted to it, but why? It's just an old sofa. The Morrisons left it here when they moved out. There are some stitches on it, and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? From flat one, we apologize for, cluttery, for cluttering the hall. Uh, the removal company has been called, and they will collect sofa and the chair soon. We're sorry for the inconveniences, but we're sure you can put up with these few items for a bit longer. Just like we'd put up with your dog for all these years. Morrisons. The Morrisons family used to live here. They moved out a little while ago. So it must be empty. There's no home. There's no one home. Uh, open? It's locked. Listen? Only silence. Mitzi? Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. 
Do you mind? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Really, that's called a spanner? This hole must have been made quite recently. It's Joe Davis's flat up there. What is he trying? Digging holes in the floor? Right on the edge, there's some black shiny object. I can't quite tell what it is from here, but it looks like some kind of statue. There's no way I can reach it. It's too high. But it has... Wait. Let's do it again. Uh, if the table on the right wasn't damaged so badly, I could probably stand on it. But it has... But as it's all rotten, I'd probably only fall and break my neck. I'll have to find another way to get that statue from up there. Okay. Well, Mitzi, can we do the thing? Ah, oh, yeah. Branch and spanner. Yeah, that's probably true. I've heard that. <laughs> Thanks, Starbreeze. Um, this is the sunny side of the building. My side is always covered in dark. Or so it seems. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Okay. This is A. What does depression feel like? Well, it feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. That's funny. Most of the time I feel like I want to live, but I have to die. Schraubschlüssel, I actually say Schraubenschlüssel, but yeah. Yeah, Schraubenschlüssel, I guess. Yeah, spanner, yeah, yeah. It's just an ordinary electric socket. Nothing here. Okay, a window. Okay, the table. I mean, it's rotten through. Yeah. I can't look at the chairs. You could just take a chair inside, you know? What about this radiator? These radiators are some uh, some of the few remnants of the old days. Most have been taken off the walls. Those that are not that are left haven't been working for years. Well oh, great. Examine. A grumpy old woman lives here with her ugly dog. I hate dogs. Doggy inside. Bad idea, there's a dog inside. I hate dogs. What so? Just because you hate dogs? Okay, let's do six and five. That's Hund. It would actually be their Hund. Yeah, Schraubenschlüssel. That's what I'd say at least. Doesn't need to be true. Since Brian doesn't own a car, every day he rides his bicycle to get to work. It's not just his pride and joy, but also his only means of transportation. I bet he'd be gutted if something happened to it. Kick it. Schweinehund. How funny would that be if the crank went missing? He probably wouldn't even notice until the very last minute when he's already when he's all ready to leave for work with no time to spare. Well, I don't know. It's Brian's flat. He deserves to be taught a lesson. If it wasn't for him, I would never get kidnapped by 
I would never have gotten kidnapped, I guess. Uh, by that crazy guy and his cannibal wife. I can hear someone walking inside. Brian's definitely in. No, I don't want to talk to him. There must be some other way we can get inside and check if he's who we're looking for. I'd really like to teach him a lesson. Show him I'm not someone he should be messing with. Let's fucking do it. I can't. It can't be done by hand. I'll need the right tool to remove it. Okay. How about this? That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. She calls herself the cat lady. Now I can't kick it anymore. Could have kicked it. Hey, a rag! It's been hung out here to dry a long time ago. Okay, borrow. <laughs> We're borrowing it, guys. An old man lives here. I don't think it'll be long until he's taken into care. But right now he still seems independent enough to do his shopping and cleaning. Sometimes I see him in the hallway. Polite guy always says hello and smiles. Still, something's not quite right about him. Early stages of dementia, perhaps. <laughs> yes, Gizmo, that's me, I guess. Something like that. Uh, I think I heard some someone cough. There's an email saying someone cough. Uh, he's home, all right. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. Alright, see you later, Oddstorms. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Thanks for stopping by. Homework? Oh, nice. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. And let me get my hair again. Do you think he'll be back with a shotgun? Don't be silly. This isn't America. I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Do you own a computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. You have a computer. There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no. With all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait! Jesus. Yuta! I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Unless he's not alone. You should ask him about that before we go. Computer. Can I help you? No, thanks. We're fine. Have you found some batteries? What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before, I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. 
Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year, but I can still cook my dinner and I make my bed every morning all by myself. So, you do live alone then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning, all by myself. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. No, no, no. It's, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Mary always liked her tea milky. She put the tea bag in the milk in first, and, and then finally she'd add hot water. I kept telling her it's the wrong way, but she never listened. She was always so stubborn, my Mary. I miss her every day. I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. Okay. Yeah, that lead died, but that's good. It's Brian's flat. Oh yeah, we've been here. We have sabotaged his bicycle. Because we're dicks. Oh, reminds you of your grandparents, Anglo. Of mine too, kind of. Yeah, a little bit. Just looking at it is painful. What? Why? What is this? Oh, a pram. Oh, it's a pram. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, This is where Pauline lives. She's a young mother and until recently a busy hotelier. Yes? What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. All right. Hydration is a good point. I'll pour myself a glass. These cables are hanging loose. I don't think that's very safe. Baby carriage. Really? If I could pull them out, I'd cut off the ele electric uh, for both flats. Unfortunately, they are too firmly attached to the meter. Okay. 
It's an electric meter for both flats. I'm gonna switch it off. It's just a tripped fuse, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Do you think he's our dude? He looks like our dude. Bicycle crank. The cable. Betsy, can you... Can we get a knife? Should get a knife. What do you think? Let's get a knife. A knife or so. I can't go back inside, so we have to solve it from here. He looks sus. Too obvious? Yeah, he looks a little obvious. Uh... An old dirty rack, perhaps it served as a doormat once. Hmm. Well, let's talk to Mitzi. So, what next? Let's look around first. We must check everyone. I'm absolutely sure I of Adam is living in one of these flats. Yeah, the, the nickname is uh, Eye of Adam. Okay, so... I don't know. The lock was too strong. The lock was too strong. Oh. And on the... Un, I mean, there's... Oh. Hello. The dog lady. She lives in flat too with that stinky mongrel of hers. I can't remember her real name. I've always called her the dog lady. Needless to say... We are not the best friends, but we usually do our best not to show it. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. 
And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't hold him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. Then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. Who's William? The dog. William is my dog, of course. Of He's course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. I have to go now. See you later. Okay, so the dog will run after the cats. That's the solve to the puzzle. Looks heavy. I think it's meant to be a storage place for cleaning products, vases, and junk mail. Those who have lived in this house as long as uh, me will know there's actually a door and to the basement behind it. No one goes down there anymore. It's not safe, apparently. There's nothing useful inside, just piles and piles of leaflets. I could push that cabinet out of the way, but I don't really want to be seen. If only we could get rid of this old witch somehow. Well, when the dog comes running. Someone put freshly picked flowers in a vase and uh, to brighten up this grim looking hall. They're like a bunch of roses and a long forgotten grave. Maybe one day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please. Be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful, nosy old witch. Maybe the vase was already cracked. Why else would it break as soon as I touched it? Okay, we have something to cut with now. It's a communal mailbox. It holds all tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. Yeah, I know that. No mail. All others are locked. Yeah. We can go outside, but I don't think she will. This guy is hiding here, in this house. There's no reason to go outside. I told you. Okay. <clears throat> what do we do first? The doggy? Let's try the doggy. Because the dog will run after the cats. And then the dog lady will chase after the dog. Yeah, but... I mean... Okay, no chance here then. There's nothing to cut here, really? You won't cut the cable?
damn fuse just keeps tripping. It's like we're living in the Stone Age here. Jesse, can we talk to you, please? Later, mate. Later. I'm really, really busy right now. Why won't you... I mean, I have to cut the cables. It's sharp. I have to be careful. I've split enough of my... I've spilled enough of my own blood already. Yeah, well... I agree. So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog. Okay, next the dog puzzle. For the dog puzzle? I mean, maybe I can use the cloth and rub it on the cat or on the sofa or so, and it'll pick up the smell. Hmm. Can't do anything with the cats. Do you have any ideas, guys? I have a bicycle crank. I'd love to see Brian pedal to work without just uh, with just one crank. But apart from that, I might actually find some use for it. Old drag. Yeah, so I'm sure of it. I don't know. How do we get the dog? The radiator? What? I've put the rag on the radiator? Okay. Why have I done that? Just because I can? I spread this rag over the radiator. What next? Yeah, what next? Nothing to cut here. No. Mm, is she gonna say the same thing? So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman yes. and her dog. Okay. I mean, she won't pick the lock yet. Will she? She hates dogs. Maybe I'm missing an item. I mean the statue. Get in the flat upstairs because the lock is too advanced. I'm just using everything with everything. The lock of this table. Do I have anything else in my inventory? No. Can't reach it, I'm too small. And the window? 
Nothing. Okay, I don't think we forgot anything. At least not here. She won't pick the lock because the dog is there. And there are the cats. Maybe I can cut the sofa. <gasps> I can cut the sofa. The stitches. Wow, that's okay. Reach inside. Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats love it. It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. Oh, what a shame they moved out. Come on, guys. The party moved over here. Where are they? This is A. Well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort her dog out. Okay. Ground floor time. Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cat's upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. You better. be all right please these cats can easily outrun some old mutt push I'm pushing i'm going to push this cabinet out of the way i remember there was a door behind it it's too heavy i don't think that's gonna work are you kidding me i'll show you how it's done stand back She'll do it alone. There. The door everyone's forgotten about. Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Yeah. Perhaps I am. Enter. Water supply for the whole building can be switched off here. There's no need to do that now, though. Extension cord. Okay. It hasn't been used for many years. All flats have central heating these days. I can't open... It, I, it can't be opened with bare hands. I'll need a crank. Oh. Okay. A 
It's filled with cold, dirty stuff. It's red, the color of blood. The lid is stuck. Dried up paint is holding it firmly, like a glue. I'll need some tool to praise it open. I'll take the tin once I've managed to open it. It's of no use to me right now. Nope, okay. Quiet Haven Hotel? Never heard of it. What is this sign doing down here anyway? Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from Flat 6, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know, and this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the Cat Widow? The Cat Widow? No, can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here, but I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer, if he's got one. Okay, so what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Thin of red paint. Red paint. There's a tin here. We could use that. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost, after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Okay, the black I know, the red I know, and then it needs to be cut. Well... Wait. The glass shard is gone? Well then, we need to get scissors. You know what, I don't understand. Why can't she go in her own flat and just get some fucking scissors, you know? Black is my color. I like it so much better now. Yeah, let's... let's... I don't know. Let's take it... back? That schedule is outdated, by the way. Still. Oh, bro! A broom! Yeah! A broom, guys! I've never been so happy about a broom. Yes! Look, she left the door open. Okay, let's do that first. Yes, a broom! Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah! We're playing Mitzi now, guys. You excited? We're Mitzi again. We also played a cat once. Ah. It's not her. I didn't find anything. Okay. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay. I'm not really surprised, are you? 
At least we can now cross her off the list. Okay. Press any button to continue. Let's go. Let's go. I want to use a broom, girl. Let's go broom us something. Open. Let's broom, 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 guys. <laughs> Getting a little too excited here. Okay. Uh, there. I'll try to catch that thing for you, alright? I'm just gonna die. It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. Hmm. Oh wait, no. Wait, it's sorry. We're going back. Use the thing with the socket? That's like a. Right? That's like a. Yeah, well, let's look at the thing. So. Examine. A black porcelain cat with open mouth. It wouldn't be out of place in my flat, but I've probably not enough of these already. I've probably got enough of these already. Yeah. Shake. Oh! <gasps> the key to the flat upstairs is in the cat! There's something inside. Goodbye, cat. There was a key inside this cat statue with three exclamation marks. What a strange hiding place. What happened to the good old doormat? I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. <laughs> I don't remember asking you to catch anything. It's true, she just did it. She uh, volunteered. Let's go! This is exciting! This way! Let's go! We're going! We are going! No. Using the key! Do you want to go in first? Come on in! The place seems empty! Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Bingo! We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. No, no, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Why don't we go together? I really don't like this place. You said you haven't seen this guy for ages. He probably doesn't even live here anymore. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll be back before you know it. I will count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I'll be back before you get to 75. Don't worry. Hey, I just remembered something that'll keep you busy. While I'm gone, Think of a vegetable. What? 
Why? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just... a little experiment of mine. Okay. Whatever. Now go. I'm counting already. Why do I always end up in places like this? Breaking mirrors. I tried that myself. It didn't cheer me up somehow. What a fancy chair. You usually see chairs like this. Like this one in posh hotels in the country. I actually thought of a few vegetables. I'd rather... Uh, no, I'd rather not. It's quite dusty and I'm wearing black. Yeah. We're not gonna sit down. Right. Great. Three sixes. The number of the beast. He probably keeps mutilated bodies of his victims here. On the other hand, I, I read once there was some other meaning to the to three sixes too. Something really innocent. I can't remember now. It was a long time ago and I've had other things on my mind. Even if I wanted to, the doorknob is missing. The power lead is missing besides... I'm not that great with computers, I'll better leave it to Mitzi. It's a socket. Once we've got that power lead, we can plug it into here. It's also not what I thought it would be. <laughs> she doesn't want to use it. Code rack. No coats on the rack. Joe's probably wearing his coat wherever he wherever he is. It's cold this time of year. Above the desk, the wall is covered with pages pinned to the wall. They look like handwritten letters. Disgusting rotten food is scattered on the table. Looks like someone made a meal and barely even touched it. Well, that's a waste. It looks pretty old. They don't make them like this anymore. Careful. Remember the hole, Susan. That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Strange. I don't think it's even plugged in. It must be just my imagination playing tricks on me. There's no point. It stopped ringing now. Well, if it was ringing at all. Damn. The door handle just came off in my hand. How am I gonna get out of here now? Where's Mitzi? Mitzi? Yeah. Mitzi, are you there? Shit. Just one big step. <laughs> Jesus. God, I thought the curtain would have opened. <laughs> right, great. Oh yeah, six. Blah, blah, I read this. Let's enter. Bathtub. The water from the bath has completely flooded the floor, the bathroom floor. Not that I care, I just want to leave as soon as possible. Okay, a mannequin in a bath. This guy is nuts, no doubt about that. Dress on it. It's dirty like everything else in this place. 
This must be the power lead that we need. Maybe luck's on my side today, after all. Oh, taking it. Supposed to be here. Uh oh. Please move, Susan. Why did you have to ruin everything? What have you done, you stupid, evil bitch? Who are you? I'm sorry. The door was open. I thought you moved out. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. I just came here to find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, I see. That stupid cat. I've been looking for it too. The little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. The music's cool. Great soundtrack, this game. I don't want any trouble. Just let me go. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your it's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Listen, I've got to go now, all right? I'll slowly walk out of here, and you'll never see me again. Calm down. I'll go now, and we'll forget all about this. There's nowhere to go. It's all wrong. No matter what I do. Damn it! Get back here right now, and give me that blasted key! Please, don't get angry. I don't have any keys. Just sit down and take a deep breath while I make my way out, all right? The hole! Goodbye. <gasps> but she... <laughs> she went feet first and then fell head first. God bless America. <laughs> yes, Anglo. Came through here, devil. By the way, she is invincible. If she dies, she'll get reborn. Or like... I don't know if she just spawns again, I don't know. Oh, we're opening some doors here. The writing above the door says here. Oh. I guess that's to say devil came through here. Devil? Came through. This is a grammar game now, guys. And you know, you have the specialist in front of you. <laughs> the devil came through here. There you go. And we're leaving. Enter. Come in, come in. 
There's no need to be afraid. I, I don't buy it. Come in already. I might need your help with something. There are mostly horror books on these shelves. More, of, more than half of them are written by Stephen King. I guess Joe's a fan. This bed is rather fancy. It reminds me of beds they have in cheesy country hotels. Uh, where are, where we? are we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This is a hotel? I know. It's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump if you ask me. You need my help. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? Sorry. I must have gotten the wrong idea. It happens to me sometimes. I've been known to be a bit... Intimidating? I guess. But I'm not a violent person. Okay. Good to know. I mean, I will use violence if I'm pushed against the wall. Do you know what I mean? All too well, Mr. Davis. All too well. This is all just a dream, right? It's funny that you would say that. I've already heard that somewhere today. But if this is a dream, I've been asleep for a very long time. I'm sorry. I just want to leave. Yes, I understand. I wouldn't stay here myself if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see, my wife Ivy is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. She said she was going to do makeup, but it's been a week now, maybe long. Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry, and she tells me she's not done yet. I've cooked her a meal, but she ignores me. She never likes what I cook. But what's that got to do with me? If you talk to her, I'll show you the way out, I promise. Just go in there and tell her... Tell her she looks fine. She's always so careful about looking perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. So, your wife's been in that room for a week? Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Goodbye, Joe. Yeah, I get the feeling that, uh, you know, we're not really getting the references because we haven't played that other game. Someone bled on this chair, too. There are bloody handprints all over it. Hmm. Okay, you know what, guys? We're gonna call the day now. It's pretty late now to get up early-ish tomorrow so we are going to save Mrs. Davis I'm sorry Angelo let's hope tomorrow will be like better for never goodbye for never Yeah, uh, thank you for sticking around. I will give you some music, okay? It's just I'm very tired. My eyes are very heavy. I didn't really sleep so much the last few nights. Just always had to get up early.